Told you I was going to get an aquaponics set up, up and running, and here I am with a proof of concept. Just wanted to give you guys a quick walk around. Literally, this can be built for about $150, uh, and it gives you a 100-gallon uh, stock tank for fish, which is plenty, uh, and two approximately 20-gallon grow beds. So uh, I plan on doing lettuce and a whole bunch of other things in these. Now I'm going to get some pallets and I'm going to build a frame out of pallets for it. And obviously I'm going to have to raise these beds up a little bit and spread them out a little bit uh, just because I'll be, I'll have to get to the fish side of things. But, uh, you know, real simple. All I really have here is a 400 uh, gallon per hour pump. Real simple. It's uh, coming around on this black uh, three quarter inch tubing to a fitting that allows me to transfer it to three quarter inch PVC. Then I've got a T here running to two adjustable ball valves where I can adjust my inflow. Everything going in, everything going out is three quarter inch. So then I've got my uh, bell siphons. Real simple, just a two inch pipe with a cap. Put some slits in the bottom. Uh, just like everybody else said, this did take me like two days to figure out. Um, and I'm, I still have questions, but I'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, uh, just kind of a rigged up uh, stand pipe there. Goes down to an electrical fitting, which basically, let's see if I can get down in here, which basically goes into a rubber O ring and then converts it back to three quarter inch. And then I've got this little spigot here. And that, as you'll see in a minute, when these fill up, uh, is really what helps that bell siphon out. Um, over here, same thing, two inch bell siphon, three quarter inch with a little bit of lip. Uh, I watched that you wanna have a little bit of a, a bigger top there so it can help out with the suction. But as you can see, this one's about to start. So I'll show you uh, just how rapidly this thing gets going. Right now, um, I'm draining in about four minutes, and I'm filling in anywhere from you know four to eight. I can adjust uh, up to ten. I can I can really adjust it all the way down. I finally got the siphons to where you can have a drip, and it'll still siphon. Um, that's what took a lot of the time was actually getting it to start uh, with such a low water pressure coming in. Um, unless I cranked it up, but I don't want to do that because then the beds fill up too much. So. I've got it adjusted to where it stops about at about an inch and a half to two inches below, and then my uh, media will fill up to the top. As you can see, it's just getting started here. And so the water just keeps filling up until it hits that stick, the top of that stand pipe there. Similar on this side. Basically, it just starts flowing, and then within about a minute, my siphon kicks in in full bore, and that's fast. So, um, it takes about three minutes to drain, which is really good. So, basically, my questions are, is what am I looking for, for a good amount of drain time and a good amount of fill time? Meaning, how, how long should it take for the cycles? Um... That I'm still kind of learning about, but um, so yeah, as you can see, siphon is working perfectly. Same setup on this side, pumps it right back down to your tank, and then the process keeps repeating itself. Basically, the same thing over here once the water gets up to that standpipe, it'll create a suction. I don't have any kind of extra, you know extra holes or anything like that at the top. I don't have any kind of extra tubing. Um, you know, I have the same pipe going in and out. Some people said, yeah, they have bigger going out, but that's not true. I can get tons of water going out. And you certainly wouldn't want to fill it that fast. Or else you basically would have full contact all the time with your roots with the water. So, um, you know, just a little design I came up with. You know, you really just got to play with it and tweak it. I mean, even if you were to go out and buy this exact same setup, you'd probably have to tweak it a little bit. Um, so basically, the only thing left that I have to tweak is my flow rates and 
and um, you know, basically everything else is pretty self-explanatory. You just want to adjust the standpipe to where you want your water to fill. You want it to fill just underneath your medium so that your top of your medium, excuse me, doesn't get uh, wet. So, uh, yeah, you basically just want to fill it uh, to the top. I, I left about two inches, but you want to fill it so that your medium isn't going to get wet on the top. You want it to just be about an inch below the surface. Eliminates bacteria buildup and stuff like that. Also, with the way that uh, these bell siphons work, I'm pretty sure that's creating plenty of oxygen. I mean, you can see tons of bubbles coming up. So it's definitely oxygenating it as it puts it back down in the tank. So that's good. But then, as you can see, oh, I missed it. But it shuts off right away as well, too, while it's still quite not shut off yet. As you can see, it just sucks down that remaining amount of water. And then it just goes ahead and shuts off. So, I mean, I'm super happy with that. It starts right up within about 30 seconds, and it stops within about 30 seconds. So, um, I think I've got my siphons dialed in. I've got my water level set right. Now, I just my only question is, what should my, you know, what should the flow rates be? Um, how long should it take to fill? How long should it be in contact with the water? But other than that, basically just got to go get some medium. I'm going to use black lava rock. And then I'll put, um, you know, I'll put a, another piece of PVC over these to, uh, to basically work as a filter for rocks and stuff so that it doesn't get in there. Um, but basically that's the setup. So stay tuned for more to come. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. I'd be happy to give you guys dimensions on everything. I'm going to take this apart because I'm going to be making a pallet sand for it. Um, I'm going to enclose it all in and make it look really, really nice. But basically, this was just proof of concept. So um, it's working really, really well so far. I, it hasn't missed a cycle. It never not breaks the siphon, and it never not starts right away. So, um, yeah, real happy with that. So uh, please leave me some comments. Uh, and, of course, like and subscribe. And I will uh, answer your questions as soon as possible. And stay tuned for more.